your video off and your mic muted. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. You too, James. Thank you, Connor. How's the back? Hi, Alan. Hi, James. It's getting there. Glad to hear it's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> Should I turn off my camera to eat this chocolate? <laughs> what kind of chocolate is that? This is a Lindor chocolate that one of my clients sent me. Oh, that's nice. Whole box of them. I'm on number two. Can you feed us green? <laughs> one day, huh? Won't that be awesome? I got you a gift. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. Right? <laughs> No, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> I've got some hazelnut cookies. Hazelnut chewy cookies. They're really good. I'll pass one through later for you. Just don't pass it through our direction. You got it. <laughs> Well, I'm still eating my dinner, too, so I'm going to drop off video. I will see you guys in a little while. All righty. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hello, Rinpoche. Hello. Yes, so. Okay, where were we last time? <laughs> you were going to tell us why we experience certain things we do when we practice Tantra. Oh, I see. Okay. So now the. Last I'm talking about the sixth Naropa Yoga. So maybe now I will cover of the now the later part of yoga. Uh, uh, I finished maybe three points of the uh, sixth Naropa Yoga. Am I right? Yeah. Hello. Yes. 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 Okay. So maybe what will we do is that today maybe I will talk about the remaining parts. Okay. Okay. So now the fourth. <clears throat> fourth is the yoga of the inter intermediate state. I think. Yeah. Yoga of the intermediate state. That is the mainly it talks about the pardo. I uh, Parto is a, such a state where the, when the people died and the, before taking the rebirth, they have to go through that state. And uh, that state called the interpattern, it called uh, Pardo. From the term, I, if we translate that word into the English, it would be like a intermediate state. Intermediate state. And uh, in that state, it, the uh, no people have to spend around something around uh, 49 days. 
it is maximum 49 days. Maximum will be 49 days, but some people might spend seven days or 10 days or like that. Now, the thing is that uh, this is the here, the some points that uh, it is a bit tricky to understand the exact the, what is the that intermediate state. Because the if you encounter, in case if you have an encounter with the people, hello. We hear you, Rinpoche. Your your video is just off. It's oh now he's gone. I think he's having some internet conductivity issues. Life of a uh, monastery at the mountaintop. <laughs> but it should be connecting back in a few minutes, okay? It just sometimes connects out and then takes a few seconds. He went into the bardo, I think. Hopefully he comes back. We can, Rinpoche, we can see you, but we can't hear you. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, great, great, great. Sorry, I was disconnected. Yeah, of your session. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So now the, what uh, talk uh, that that's about that uh, intermediate state. So intermediate state is a normal a person when they die and the, before they take the reboot, they have to go through that state. So 49 days, max, uh, it will maximum, they will remain in that state the 49 days. So that state in the Tibetan, it called the Pardo state, Pardo, okay? Now the, we here, the, what we have to know is exactly that the, what happens in that state. That is the how, how you can practice and how you can elaborate from the, that state. That is the fourth practice of the six Naropa yoga, the fourth practice. And this is the one of the Vajrayana practice to give the training to the people that how can they can self elaborate from the, that state, the uh, Pardo state or intermediate state. It is a self elaborating. So normally in when you're born in a, that state, so you cannot consult and you cannot get guidance from the other people. Now, every, everything is a very much with the, you have to do it yourself. This is the one thing. Now, the, here is to understand is that the, I have encountered or I have met the peoples and the, some they share that their experience like a death experience. Normally, they've been to such a state like a coma or the completely like a state of the death. And that they have a, some experience like a seeing the lights and the white lights or like that. And that they used, they asked me that whether they have born in the Pardo and they came back. Even if you look at the, they are some research. If you look at the, they have done the, some research on the, that the, in the in the Berlin, the, the some of the scientists they did the one research, and uh, it is the so you can just search in the that Google the Berlin scientists found the life after the death something like that. If you type, you will get the that is a, some Berlin in the Germany in the Berlin the scientists have done the some research and the, what they did in the research is the quite I mean the interesting. Their research is that the, what they did is that. The, they just, what they did is that uh, they did, uh, they, they, they introduced the clinical death, some of the volunteers, and uh, they just make them to die for the few moments, and later then again, they bring them back to the life. When they've been through the dead, when they introduce or when they let them 
dying for the few minutes or the few moments to some moments and after they are bringing back then they ask them that their experience how they feel and the, what their experience and uh, they share there was something like uh, when they are seeing the lights and the white lights and something like that so we don't at that is not here is the, my question is that the way the when they are seeing these lights from medical point of view they are they are died because of the they already kill for the some moments and that they bring it back so so now these people have experienced the intimate state or these people are born in the parto did you get my questions did you get my point hello yeah if you are not if you are not clear you can ask me yeah were you asking us sure, question, sure. Rinpoche? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Hello. I, you were clear to me, Rinpoche. Ellen, did you understand that? I, Rinpoche, I understood what you told us, but yeah. you asked us a question. I didn't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. The question. Yeah, ask us a question that the, whether these people, whether really they experience the pardo or real these people have born in the intermediate state or not that's the my question so mm. now mm, okay so yeah so now this is the one for me it's a, right now the, it's a one very 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 uh tough i mean the, to the give the answer on this point this is not very clear from the buddhist perspective because now i know the, from buddhist perspective so people when they because the one thing is a very interesting the if you look at the all these people they mostly they experience like a light i know the one old gentleman old gentleman and uh, he you one he was sharing me the his experience one time he was in the hospital and the, he can hear the voice of the doctors and his families and the saying that now he have no hope and they all left him Left him means I think left him means they didn't they lost the hope. So he was the time he was sharing me they when he was in like that state. Then he can hear the voice slowly. He lost the hearing the older voice. Then suddenly he saw the very one bright light. After he's saying that that yellow the bright light, he thought that the, he will not going to die. And then the few days later he gained back the, his conscious that the, he shared me the experience. Yeah. So, like this, the cases that a lots of cases like that happen. Some cases, even I think that some cases you might have the people when they completely when they pass out of the unconscious, but still their consciousness moves out of the body and they see their see own the body or the see the things. That's all happens. So now that these all the things, the question is my question is that the, now, like these people when they at the state when they when the medical doctors, when they declare they are died, and when they gain back again, they can come back to the life. Did they really into into that uh, intimate state or where they got stuck? So this point is not very clear from Buddhism perspective of view. For when you born in the intimate state or in the pardo state, it is impossible to come back. Impossible means I think the chances is a very rare, very rare to come back. It is a very rare. But very rare because the, you already left the, your body. So like these people right now, I think you first you search in the Google. There's a very interesting research they did. The Berlin scientists found that life after the death. If you type like that, you will find the, all this. I mean the I mean the reports, the research report. So these people, when they are clinically, they, when they introduce the death, they kill them for the some time and they bring it back. So that state, that is a very different than a giving the anesthesia. Okay, anesthesia when you give you just a pass out, no, it is not the death. They will not call it they are your died, no. So they are like introduce the death. That means that they killed them for the some moments. Some so so now the here's the comes a question that the whether well, now that they share they are the experience saying that they see the light or this and died. They assure the experience. Now, things is that the. 
from Buddhist perspective, they have not born in the intermediate state, but now how can this, the big question is that the, how can they see the light? Now the, I feel like that they have not fully dead, that's my personal view, they have entered into the death process. Death process. There's a the big difference between the death process and the death, okay? When you enter the death process, the process can be like a, in the death, and when you enter into the death process, first you will see the white light, white light. That moment you will feel the very joyful. Uh, white light. Then you will see the red light. Red light, no. Then you will see the darkness. After the darkness, you will feel, you will get like a unconscious. You will be unconscious and you will feel nothing and see nothing. After the, your, 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 when you become the unconscious, then you will gain back your conscious and at that time, from the Vajrayana, in that state we call the state of the clear light state. Clear light state, that is the state where you will see like a very blue sky and the empty of the blue sky, like a, in the state of that. So that moment when you say the clear light state, clear light state, clear light consciousness state or clear light state, that, that state the people can, some meditator can meditate on that state three days, six days, seven days. This is the one the normally the people who are meditate at the that state meditation, they they meditate on that state. They are not meditating after the death. They are meditating in the state of the death process. Death process. Okay, death process when the people if you can see that the normally people who are dying and the, even they have a lots of the pain with the, their body or physical body, when they approach very near to the death, they won't feel that much of the pain. They will feel quite joyful and they feel the peaceful and the relaxed. So if you talk with the, any, I mean, the, if you have the experience with the talking with the people, even they are having the very, I mean, the very strong pain before the dying. So I'm talking about a natural death, okay? Not in the person who died in such an accident, okay? Natural death. And the slowly they will lose the sensation of the feeling, the pain. And then we started to feel the more joyful, relaxed. And that the moments that then the person will experience of the seeing the white lights, white lights. That is the white light. Then the second state, then it will come with the red light. Red light experience like seeing the red light, then the person will see the darkness. After the when they're seeing the darkness, then the person will pass out like a very it will the person will not have any conscious. Then after that, they will gain back the conscious, and when they gain back the conscious, then they will see like a very blue sky. That's that is the then that is the state with a clear light state or clear light. That time the clear light consciousness will be arise. Or that state we call the clear light state. State, clear light state. In that state, meditator can meditate in a few days. Even if you are not very serious meditator, but if you are lucky, I should say the lucky in that state, you can meditate. Once you can meditate at the clear light state three days or five days like that, then the person can get the very good report. Quite pretty sure that he can born into the very take the very good report. So that's the thing. I have a one very funny story to share. Funny means a uh, very funny, but yet interesting. Okay, they say in our that's a very long back in the Sarah, the South India monastery. There is uh, one monk. Normally, that monk is a quite. I mean, the, he's a very. I mean, the senior monk, and the, he was a bit of the how to say that, not very normal. I mean, the little bit of this, I should say the psycho, no? Little bit of psycho, <laughs> okay? But psycho means uh, not very, I mean, the, it's a, but still psycho, but still he can control the himself, okay? Some psycho could not control themselves, no, his, okay. So, but the, whenever we talk with him, sometimes he cannot respond back very well. Sometimes when he responds, he could not stop. He will go and talk and talk and talk. 
and the dog very i mean the something very i mean the nonsense things he talks no but uh, he whenever we ask him to come to say the puja or pray he will always be happy to come and do that so when I, that's very long but sometimes i used to ask him to come and say the prayer and the pujas and the the reciting the buddha sutra no but the story is that when he died he meditated on that that state meditation that was a very shocking news for the many people in monastery never thought like a one like a psychotype person can meditate in that state of the dead state no he meditated that very i mean the, yeah so three or four days he meditated that so that is the what i'm saying is that that is the dead state of the meditate when you person who are meditating in the dead state of the meditation these people if you look at these people their the body will be not get decay their the face will be normally people with diet it will lose the face shine no people the person who are meditating at the dead state they will not lose the shining of the face and the body will not decay and the, you don't have to put them in the deep freezing no even in the south india sometimes very hot weather season but when they in the state of the meditating even 5 6 state body will not decay and the, not feel any smell of the body so that is the one yeah so so now after the oh, yeah so after the death then the uh, pardo will come so that's why the what i am saying that these people these scientists where they research and when they share the experience of the moment when they have died or this i don't think they are born in the pardo state but they might have entered into the death process when you enter into the death process you will have a lot of these experience you will have so light light so in, now if person says that they see like a green light then i cannot say they enter into the death process but death process they share the three different lights one is a white light then it talks about the red light then the darkness then the like a blue a sky no experience these are the now the person told that when they and that state they are seeing like a green light or the something purple light or the yeah so then it is the then i don't think that the day into the death process okay stay okay so that one now the in the 49 days what will happen when the person born in the dead pardo state okay pardo state is the normally the state of the intermediate state most important thing is after the death after most the scary part is the not at the dying after the death is a more scary part because the person who are dying slowly when they as i mentioned when they are dying slowly they will feel joyful they will feel very joyful and all this and then slowly they will become little bit it is like a falling asleep no are you get scared with the falling asleep no because the you at the moments of the person who have a moments when they fall asleep they will not get scared no so when the time of the right now you might be getting a scared of the dying person who are experience of the death process they will not get scared at all they will feel joyful and the relaxing or like that because they are becoming a more and more i mean the uh, consciousness become a more un- inactive losing the more conscious so fear only comes when you are more conscious when you are more conscious then the only fear comes when you are not very conscious the fear won't come so more you conscious more fear will come less conscious less fear so that's why the now the real the scarcity real the fear real the i mean the uh unpleasant moments comes after the death when you born in the state of the intermediate state or pardo then you will realize that the you are die you are dead then the you will get very scared because when you both born in the that intermediate state or the pardo state the moment that you will learn that the now you are dead once you learn that the you are dead then what happened you will get very scared once you got very scared the first moment once you get scared because the when you born in the, that intimate state first thing is uh, what what will do now in this side in this present in the in the from the if you look from the very vajrayana practice point what you have to do is the just do that as a meditate and try to experience that how you will feel when you learn that you are died trying to experience that how do you feel when you learn that you are died now you learn that you are died what will you do 
normally 99% person will what will they do is that they will try to meet their loved one no trying to see they to go and see that your loved one they will do. exactly the pardo will do exactly same when you born in the intermediate state same thing you will do and you will go and the, meet the someone whom you loved or someone who is very close to you you will try to do that so when you going to meet the people or the person that whom you love or whom you are very close and the, what will happen is that these people will cannot see you they will not answer your questions or they will not talk with you then that will be the second thing that the, you will get very much hurt very much hurt because the, you are going to see someone and the, they cannot see you they cannot talk with you know so that is the second i mean the difficulty and the third is when you born in the that state because the you can learn the something i mean the in we say the you will having the some kind of uh, clear voices clear how do you say that clear voices is in it clear voices clear voices huh clear voices clear voices 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 yeah clear voices huh clear voices is in it hello am i right clear yes. voice yeah 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 oh huh? yeah so so that in the bone in the that state some you will have a, some sort of the clear voice so that's why the you can see the things so what's the see the things in the other people's mind you will know that the certain of the things are what the other people were thinking so that is the something again that then you might learn the something that the people who really feel that the they might they loves you but the you might see that they are not loving you so there is a one japanese that uh, one very uh, interesting the zen zen i think the zen story there's a very zen master's one zen story very interesting thing is that there is a one beggar was a blind beggar blind beggar and the, he used to sit just uh outdoor of the gate of the one of the very rich merchant or and he used to beg and he is blind by the birth and he was begging and begging all his life the front of the that uh, sit outside of the that rich merchant house so now the one day that rich merchant died which merchant died and a lot of people visited the funeral funerals and there's some crying all the most of people are crying no? cry and the cry and then that 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 all that the blind beggar told the one thing that the, this in this few days i cannot see the people who are coming but i can hear the people's the cry but the some people cry carry a lot of the sorrow but the some people's crying they carry deep inside the happiness of the joy <laughs> with the cry <laughs> so same thing like that the same thing <laughs> sometimes that the, when you in the pardo and the, when you learn that the, your loved one some they are not loving you as you expect no so then the, it will be the very i mean the, then they want again the one i mean the very unhappiness will arise no so that's why that now the, it talks about these all the something like that these are the something like that yeah so that <clears throat> yeah so mm, so so this point so that's why the now the what in the that in this practice what they teach at how we can elaborate from the that state first thing the elaborating is that the, when you born in the that intimated state and the, you realize that the, you have now you have uh, died now you have died okay you have died then what you have to do is you have to detach from the whole the your i mean the belongings so that you have to get detached detached from the all your belongings or the, all this we call the in this world no samsara you have to get detached from it more you get it, attached more you suffer so that's why the detach is a very important detach detach means are now okay now you have to make the second plan that is and now you will not you have to born and that you have to think that now you will go to the pure land buddha's pure land that you have to think now now you have to detach yourself and think that now you will motivate yourself to, to go to the buddha's pure land that is the motivating the yourself to go to the buddha's pure land to detach is the most important thing normally even if you look at another two things as i told you that the two things and this this time you have to practice that what 
what will you do if you learn that uh, if you learn you are that this is the one the first practice okay second practice is what you have to do is that if you are going to die tomorrow what will you do two things okay I'm, but please don't misunderstand me, okay? I'm not saying that you, you are going to die tomorrow, okay? I'm not saying that, okay? <laughs> so you just have to think that if you learn that you are going to die tomorrow, what will you do? That the first thing is that the, if you learn that you are going to die tomorrow, so yeah, so this is the one thing that the what you have to do is that when you learn that you are going to die tomorrow, first thing is, so you, again, the same thing, you have to detach. Now not to attach to the, what you are having, not to attach. Now you prepare the acceptance. Accept it. Okay, I will accept it. Now my time to go, but I will go to the pure land or like that. Pure land. Or the one very interesting, I have the ones to, uh, interesting to share. There is a one person. She told me, she told me that the one, she told me that the, in her next life, she wanted to born as a cat. One, one very, I mean, the, Big and a big black cat. She was born into that into that cat, you no, know, in the next life. <laughs> that also, that is a something like that. If you really wish, okay, something like that. That if you really want to born again back to someone, then you can think like that. Okay, this life, no, I'm going to die tomorrow. I will accept it and I will pray. I will motivate myself to born into the back to the I mean, the, wherever you want to born, no. Either or the pure land or the, in the back to the Amenda Samsara or the wave. That is the important thing. Because the normally people always get the, the scare with the death because they don't have the plan after the death. Once you have the plan after the death, you won't get scared. Because people are getting scared that the, because they think that death is a final end. So that is the thing. So once you need once you have a second plan after the death. Then the, you will get the less scared of the death, no? So that's why the second plan, whether you can think to the go to the Buddha's pure land or you can born again to meet yeah, someone, yeah? I really met the one gentleman in the Oregon. So he's going to the very tough time, the very tough time, because the, he learned that his wife's having the very, very serious, I mean, the uh, medical issue, I mean, the illness, I should say, the serious illness. And then, then he was telling lots about that with dog, and he really wished that his wife can born again back, and he can again and meet together. This is the one thing, really, the very positive thought. No, so otherwise, the this giving the time is. He told me he spent with the wife for so many years. I thought thirty years or thirty or forty years. I, I don't remember that. So many years lived together. Now it's a time to get the part separating. No? For him, it's a very difficult because he's knowing that now. Because of the illness, you no, know, his wife illness. It's he was telling me it's quite difficult for him to accept. You know? But he was thinking that way. It really helped. That thing is there any possibility there? Very high possibility, you no. Know? But in British perspective, very high. Possibility. Both they can pray, and then both they can pray, and they can meet, and again in the next life. That is the way. So this is something like a hope, and this is something like a plan that you can make that, you no. Know? So this is plan and the hope. Because otherwise, every day you have to suffer, no? thinking that now his wife is going to die and the thing is the suffer. And the wife also having the thinking the whole illness. No? She cannot overcome it. It's not that easy. You know? When you have some illness and you cannot overcome it, it is really very difficult. No? So that is a something that the, like a hope. No? You think that you can born again and the meet your loved one again. And this is thing, no? And uh, one thing that uh, one very funny story that I think I told you before. One of the, my students, she lives in the China, so she lost the whole uh, dog. Then the, she told me that she went to the pet shop and to see the newly born. I mean, after after some time later, she went to the pet shop and to see the newly born the puppies. No puppy. No, you call the dog. No puppies. And they're trying to find the reincarnation of the hot dog which passed out. They're calling the his the dog name to the, all the puppy and to see their reaction. <laughs> she told me there were two dogs showing the very reaction with the, that no, that one who she called the hot dog's name. 
So then she was a bit confused, and then she told me she bought the two of them, not sure the which is the real re- reincarnation of the. the... <laughs> But that also good thing, no? That also good that does at least she will feel that that, that her dog is back, not to her. Eh? Uh, no, so this is a, so these are the I mean the yeah, these are the some I mean the what I'm sharing is that uh, these are the points that the two this week that you have to meditate the two things. Okay, if you learn that you are that, what will you do? And then the, if you learn that you are going to die tomorrow, what will you do? That things the two things that you learn to how to plan, no. So that is a something a plan you learn. No. There is another other funny story that uh, that's a uh, one lady told me, and uh, when they went to meet uh, that meet their father-in-law, father-in-law, and the lady told me father-in-law asked them, asked them that uh, that's in the Asia here, and asked ask them that uh, if you too. If you do to again in the next life, you want to be the husband and the wife, lady and husband and wife. The lady told a lady told me to being as a very polite and to show the very nice manner to the father and law. She said yes, yes, yes. But the, her husband told her that wow, the one life is too much. Next life, I don't want to get married with you. <laughs> so, 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 so the. That is a something. What I'm saying is, is something like all oh, these are the something good plans. So I would say the good plan. No? This on the good plan. Normally, when you are the kid, you will have the plan when you graduate. After you graduate, you will have the plans of the what you will do when you having the got the job. Then the after the plan of the retirement. Then also you need the one plan plan of after the death. Then you will be the last state of things. No. So otherwise, if you have no plan, then you will feel like you got stuck. No. That that is like a that end, so it is not a that end. Okay, that is so that is thing. Okay, so now we are talking two things that time you practice. Okay, when you learn your diet, what will you do? And the, you learn that you are going to die tomorrow. What will you do? Okay, just think carefully and the write down. Okay, three plans. Okay, what you will do? Three plans. Okay, write down and make it three plans. When you think that again and again, it's a very strange that the, it is like a instinct. No, when you think that again and again, certainly it's something happened. That thought will come immediately, like in the Tibetan tradition. Whenever we see the any poor animals or something like that, always we will say like a compassion, compassion. This is something we learn when we are very kid, no? When we see the very some animals are suffering or whoever suffering, suddenly this word will come in our mouth: the compassion, compassion. Tibetan, you know the compassion word: ningje, ningje. This is ningje is a very compassion, compassion. We say the very compassion, yeah. So this word comes in, yeah, yeah, my own mind, no. So that sometimes this word stands with a very different meaning. Sometimes this word, when you say the Tibetan word, when we see something and when it's a compassion, that means that you are feeling the very pity for them. You got my point. Pity or the you call the pity, no? When you see the animals like a broken the feet or animals having the crime, suddenly we'll say compassion, compassion. That we feel the pity, no. One very funny incident. I was in, you know, that uh, that's in the Toscana. You know, the in the Italy they call the center of the Italy. It's called the Toscana. Toscana. I was in Toscana that time, and there is a one Italian. He was Italian, and he's a monk. Okay, Italian monk. And the, we went to have the, some restaurant or some lunch or like that. So that's why in the restaurant, I mean, the, that is a restaurant is in the Italy. The Toscana is a, not just open yard. Okay, open yard. Just called big open yard and we are stand, is sitting outside the restaurant. I think they might want in the church. You know, what do you call cattle or isn't it cattle? Cattle or how do you say that the big churches, you big church? Cathedral. Huh? Cathedral. Cathedral. Yeah, cathedral. 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 There's a marriage. I mean, there's a wedding ceremony is going on cathedral. The I mean, the husband and wife, they're exchanging the ring and the going on. The Italian monk, when he was Italian monk, and we are having this, when we saw them, he was telling that Tibetan word that compassion, compassion. <laughs> <laughs> so he was very seriously he's saying that Tibetan word we call ningje, ningje, compassion, compassion. <laughs> so I cannot laugh, neither I cannot hold my laughing because it's so funny. 
If I love, he was talking very seriously, saying, "Oh, compassion, compassion." He says, <laughs> "Anyway, so normally the term to me, the term compassion, we used to see that some of the very pathetic situation of the very suffering of the other, we used to see that compassion, we used to suffering and the difficult time." So now you see as a, some of the suffering, no? So you see that compassion. compassion. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so so this is a, some points. No? So yeah, yeah. So points that what I'm saying is that, that okay, mind. So that's why we are saying that when we see that some of the suffering or the, the in the dependent of sin skit, we are saying the compassion, compassion. That will help us to generate the generate the compassion toward the seeing all these the animals of the humans who are in the suffering. So same thing like that here. That what you have to learn is that okay, if the if you are going to die tomorrow, what will you do? If you learn if write the things, okay, what will you do? That the things should come into your mind when you are having the very challenging time or the difficult time. Okay. You learn that if you learn that someone your close one going to die soon, what will you do? These are the something like a training your mind, no? Training the your mind. So life is not always green, no? It will be the change, the color change in the life, no? Also, the life have a life, life have a lot of the turns in the life, no? Sometimes the turn is a very sad turns in the life. So you have to pass through all this turning, no? So that's why the you have to train your mind and the yeah. You have learned that uh, what will you do if you learn that your close one is going to die soon? So then the, these all things that are what you have to think is that the, then you can think for the prayer for these close one. And the prayer for them and the, you pray for them, that you can meet them again in their next life. Hmm? Do their, up till now, how many days they may remain, do your best to them. Most important thing is I think the sharing the time is the most important to the close one. That's a very important, I feel that. Sharing the time, and the, when you're sharing the time, is the most important thing. Is that, as I meant last time, one of the class with the, some of the, my students, I told them, I'm not so sure did I tell it, this class on sharing the time. Most important thing is that just laugh with the, your close one. Just laugh, even you have no reason to laugh. Just be like a crazy. Just laugh and laugh. When you laugh, you know they're saying, you know, when you laugh, the whole the world will laugh. When you cry, only you will cry. <laughs> that's the same thing. That's the sharing the time is just laugh, talk, and the laugh. Sometimes, then what's happened is when you become the too close, even when you start to communicate with each other, suddenly the communication turns into the arguments or the something like a debate or something like that. So, not the talking, not the listening. First important is a laughing. Just laugh and laugh, laugh. When you laugh, they will laugh. When you laugh, then slowly, the, when you moments when you're laughing with them, then slowly talk, start to communicate or talk and listen. Even when you are talking, some serious point, it's very important to laugh, okay? So that is, I think, the best. what I'm saying is this is something like a, when you close one, no? When you think the close one, and when you think, when you learn that someone, your close one is not going to die, how you have to do, no? So that, yeah, that is the, yeah. So that's why the, in the Zen story, it's a very interesting thing is that the, uh, the Buddha came with the white lotus in his hand. So in that is the one big sermon is going on. Buddha hold the white lotus and he didn't talk anything, even the not single word. Then the Mahakashyapa was a, one of the great Buddha students. He smiled and he laughed. Then the Buddha gave the flower to him, white lotus, and told him that the people can understand the true words, but you have understand. You have to understand me without any words when he was laugh when he laughed no? so this is also the very important thing that even in the buddha's lots of the story even the sometimes the buddha just laughed without any reasons and then they used to ask the buddha the why you are laughing then he used to tell the story of the he thoughts some thoughts come up about the past life this happened that happened then shared like that no these are the something like that when you meet with them just laugh and laugh smile and laugh okay so okay so that is that now that this week back do you get it now the three things no what will you do when you learn that you died what will you do when you learn you are going to die tomorrow what will you do when you learn that your close one is going to die soon okay okay these three things okay then you can write down okay not very long then i will look okay these three things is if if you don't feel very personal then you can send it to me okay 
send it to me and i will add the some more and i will tell you the what how you have to think or do okay you can write okay three three points okay and the don't write too long okay sometimes that you write that's the mostly the american student that happens sometimes they send the email very long <laughs> <laughs> so then later they will say that oh, I'm sorry, I wrote too long emails. I'm sorry. Next time again, same thing. They will do very long emails. <laughs> because, okay, now it's a very short point. Okay, very short point. Three points make a little bit short. Okay, so otherwise it's very tough for me to reading the all oh, these long emails. Okay. <laughs> I don't need each of the details. No, somebody they write email. Each of the details. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Today we'll stop here. Okay. Then you can send it to me. Send it to me. Okay. All the three points. Okay. Three, three points. Okay. You, what will you do when you learn that you are died? What will you do when you learn that you are going to die tomorrow? What will you do when you learn that your close one is going to die soon? Okay. Then the mainly three points, okay, all, all three points, right? Short three points. Then uh, next session, I will teach you that how you have to think, how you would change, okay, things and, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, okay. Really thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you very thank much. You. Um, thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Two weeks from now, you guys, is uh, New Year's Eve. So, um, Stay tuned whether or not we'll have a teaching on that day or if we'll go back to the next day. So. Thank you, Connor. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Enjoy talking about you. Thanks, Connor. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Hey, Connor. Hang out.